Welcome back to CBS 2 News at 5. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Paul Majors. Prosecutors call it a revenge killing that happened nearly two decades ago. Tonight, a woman charged in that murder case is speaking out. She tells CBS 2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely she didn't do it. Whatever the charges are that they're asking me to plead guilty for, it's essentially something that I cannot accept because it would essentially be a lie. This wife and mother, 39-year-old Norma Patricia Esparza, has been free on bail for months after being charged with the first-degree special circumstances murder of a Santa Ana man who Esparza claims raped her. She says she's been cooperating with the DA, and now that authorities have been able to secure indictments against three others, she claims she's being pressured to plead guilty to a lesser charge. Now that they have had all the information to move with their case and build their case, now they've decided to put pressure and ask me to accept a guilty plea. And that's going to be determined tomorrow. Asparza, who now lives in France with her husband and four-year-old daughter, would not specify what she would be pleading guilty to or her potential sentence. But if she's convicted of the murder, she faces life without the possibility of parole. Officials say back in 1995, Norma Patricia Asparza, her ex-boyfriend and three others conspired to kill Gonzalo Ramirez, who allegedly sexually assaulted Asparza. She denies being involved in the murder and says she was too scared and threatened by the others to come forward early on. It's not unusual for criminal defendants who are charged with a crime to deny responsibility for it. We see it all the time. I don't really want to discuss what uh, deal she's been offered. Um, and that would be inappropriate, but um, she has a choice to make whether she wants to take responsibility as to what happened in that case. According to Esparza's husband, his wife was shocked and terrified when she later learned that the victim had been killed. Because back on that night in 1995, she says the suspects told her that the man had been roughed up but was alive. Norma Patricia Esparza fears being separated from her young daughter if she's taken into custody tomorrow. In Santa Ana, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.